All right, what is up, y'all? And welcome back to another video here on the channel. And boy, do we have some interesting news to talk about today. So today's story, I didn't even know that this was legitimate. I thought it was some sort of hoax. I thought they were tugging my chain. But no, this is about as real as a bad case of hemorrhoids. And speaking of hemorrhoids, we're going to be talking about the latest installment of modern technology, the butt baby. No further introductions are needed. Let's jump right into the story. So I like scoured the internet guys and I could not find more than one source to confirm this information. So I guess you could say that, you know, take this with a grain of salt, but apparently there's like a whole website revolving around this topic. I don't know if it's legitimate or not, but God only knows I'm not about to try and figure that shit out myself. But let's just go ahead and jump into the article. So the article itself is about a paragraph, but it says when the abortion law known as Roe versus Wade got overturned by the Supreme Court back in June, the controversial decision pitted several conservative women against several liberal women. Now amidst the deep divide amongst biological women nationwide, trans women are looking to join the conversation about childbirth. According to reports, scientists are already working on ways to transplant a biological woman's womb to a trans woman's body. In the meantime, there's a new product on the market that'll help trans women simulate the feeling of giving birth to a child, and it's called the butt baby. The prosthetic baby comes in three different colors, black, white, and brown racially inclusive okay okay now we're talking the prototypes are about 13 inches and they have to be inserted into the rectum of a trans woman before exiting the same way they came in so i'm thinking it i know you're thinking it so don't even try and judge me but what type of sick motherfucker thinks up something like this bro like hmm how can we get trans women in our society to feel more included oh you know what baby sized butt plug up the anus that's that's it oh, ew, dude. what the fuck you know and the crazy thing is i guess they're trying to monetize this too yeah so i did a little bit further investigating you know a little bit extra snooping around you know y'all might think it's weird i call it journalism anyhow i was able to find the website of this product's origin and Let's go ahead and take a look at what I found. So yes, like I said, someone is literally profiting off of this. Did you see the cost of that thing? Holy shit, $300? That's insane. Well, actually, I mean, you know, to be fair, still cheaper than raising a kid and putting them through college, am I right? <laughs> And kind of like I was saying earlier, you know, you got to be a sick motherfucker to first, you know, form this idea in your mind, make it a reality, and then stick a pretty little price tag on it. And I did a little bit of snooping around on that website, like I said, and come uh, come to find out it's actually, um, we'll call it an adult website if you catch my drift. I just can't help but think this whole thing is bizarre. It's like, you know, I, I can't really speak on the topic in its entirety because, you know, I'm a dude and, you know, I will never experience, you know, genuine childbirth like a woman will in this world. And so I, I don't have like a lot of credibility, but I will say this. I feel like this is very discrediting to women who actually go through the whole nine month process of raising a child. Like talk about a slap in the face, because on one hand, you know, you have, you take the core values of what it means to have a child in the first place, you know, you know, family, love, you know, rearing this child and all of the, you know, really sacrifices um, that women have to make to develop this baby, to bring it into the world, and then, you know, rear it towards being a productive member of society, right? And so all of that combined, and then it's being, you know, compared to, let's be honest with ourselves, you know, let's keep it a buck here, you know, taking a shit, essentially what that is what it is, you know, they're stuffing it up the, you know, the behind, and then, like the article said, it comes out the same way. It's like, that's not giving birth to a child. That's not experiencing the, you know, the nausea, the headaches, the mood swings, the, you know, the bodily fatigue, the kicking, 
you know, the, 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 none of that. It's just, it's very, it's, it's very sad to me because not only is it discrediting to women, but it's also very discrediting to, you know, the family and family is something that's obviously very important to me. You know, I have a family, I want to have a family someday. And I feel like these are things that are kind of setting that back, you know, I don't, I don't know. And the last thought I want to mention, you know, kind of leave with y'all is like, what is the end game with this? You know, what is their goal? Because, you know, they can claim all day that, oh, you know, we just want to, you know, even the playing field for transgender people, we want to make them feel included. But it's like, obviously, that's not the case because you're taking that and you're, you're monetizing it and just really lining your own pockets. So like really honest to God, like what is the end goal here? Because the thing is, I don't really understand it. You know what they're working towards, you know what this is going to do in my mind. I like to look at things from a psychological standpoint. I'm very uh, psychological in that sense, I guess you could say, but my, my mind instantly thinks, you know, what happens when these people, you know, get these butt babies, they want to truly, you know, quote, experience real childbirth, and they realize that, you know, this product with all of its claims, you know, can't meet that requirement, you know, they, they can't experience that. And think about all the psychological harm and damage that that might cause, you know, I feel like this will be very upsetting to these people. And I almost, you know, feel really bad for them. Um, but I just feel like this could cause a lot more damage, cause a lot more harm than good. You know, that's just kind of my, you know, my two cents on the topic. But thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries just like this. And until next time, guys, this is Runter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.